Hi. So now we have a problem here where we have to find the minima of this expression. S is equal to mod of x minus x1 plus mod of x minus x2 and so on till mod of x minus xn. Now here x1, x2, xn are real numbers and x1 is less than x2 is less than xn, right? Now, this is a typical problem that you might even see in your exams. And uh, the best way to do it is not by differentiation. You should not do calculus here because there are n terms in the moduluses. So what will happen is you will have to split apart the function in many different ways. And there is no nice way to do it by calculus, right? So what you have to think here is logical concepts, basic theory of real numbers and the number line, and think logically from basically 10th, 11th concepts, and you'll be able to figure it out. So let's discuss how to solve this. You can pause the video and try it yourself. And let me know in the comments if you are able to do it. But we'll discuss the solution here. We will take two cases. Case one is when n is even, okay? So the number of these numbers is even, right? So let's draw the number line and mark all these points on the number line. So let's say x1, x2, x3, and so on, till there is xn here, right? And n is even, okay? Now, we want to find the minimum value of this expression. So first of all, your x is a variable, x is a variable and x can obviously be anywhere on the number line, can be anywhere on the number line, right? Because it can take any value you want, right? You have to find where should I put my x so that the value of this s expression is minimized, right? So before we go any further, I want you to try to understand what is the meaning of mod of x minus x1, right? And mod of x minus x2 and so on, right? So if you've done a little bit of complex numbers and all, you know, even normal geometry, you know that this is the distance between distance between two points or two numbers, x and x1, right? x and x1 can be marked on the number line and the distance between them will be mod of x minus x1, right? So ultimately what you have to do, you have to find the sum of the distances of x from each of these points, right? Great. So I hope you understand this. So what we are trying to say here is let's put x somewhere. I don't know where x is, but what I have to do is mod of x minus x1 and mod of x minus x2. So this distance is mod of x minus x1 and this distance is mod of x minus x2. And I have to try to minimize the sum of all of these distances, right? So let me do it on the next screen. So let's see here, we have x1, x2, and so on, x3. And here you have x of n minus one, and here you have x of n, right? Now, let's focus our attention on the first mod, x minus x1, and the last one, x minus xn, right? Can you think about how to minimize the value of this? How should we minimize this? Correct. So how should we minimize this? So the sum of these distances, I want to make it as small as possible, right? So if I pick a point somewhere between x1 and xn, if my x, if x lies in the interval x1 to xn, right? So think about it. Let me just rub off all of these other points and we are focusing only on this distance plus this distance, right? So if I put, pick my x somewhere here, right? So this distance is mod of x minus x1, right? Correct? And this distance is mod of x minus xn, right? Correct. So if I have to find the sum of the distances, then obviously in this case, if x lies between x1 and xn, this distance plus this distance is simply what? It is mod of x1 minus xn. What is this? This is the distance between x1 and xn, right? I hope everyone understands this. Pause the video and think about it yourself. If you put your point in the middle, in between these two points, 
then the sum of the distances will be the distance between x1 and xn, right? Okay. So, if the point was outside, for example, right? If the point was here, right? Then this distance plus this distance would be my mod of x minus x1 and mod of x minus xn. So, we can say that that will surely be greater than or equal to mod of x1 minus xn, right? Because x1 minus xn is the distance between these two points, right? And the equal to sign happens when x lies between the two numbers. And if x is not between the two numbers, then the distance will be actually greater than the difference between x1 and xn, right? I hope this is clear for everyone. So basically, if you want to minimize this, minimize the sum of these distances, sum of these distances. What we need to do is we pick x between x1 and xn, x1 and xn in this interval and the minimum distance, minimum distance would be equal to mod of x1 minus xn. And if you don't pick x between these two, this interval between x1 and xn, then the distance mod of x minus x1 plus mod of x minus xn is going to be bigger than this value, right? So if that is clear, now we can go to the original problem and we will say that if x1 is here and xn in here, right? And I want to minimize x minus x1 plus x minus xn, right? So that will be greater than mod of x1 minus xn if x lies between x1 and xn, right? But what about the other points? What about the other distances? So let's say x2 and xn minus 1, right? So I'll group this and this together and say, if I want to minimize this plus this, I should follow the same principle and I'll say it will be greater than x2 minus xn minus 1, right? If x lies between x2 and xn minus 1, right? So now to minimize these, I need to pick x and put it in this range, right? Which is actually lying inside this, right? Earlier, I had to put my x in this range. But now I have to put my x in a smaller interval in order to minimize these two moduluses, right? So if you follow the same pattern, you will realize that if n is even, you will be able to group them into pairs like this, right? Correct? you will be able to group them into pairs. Like for example, if I have n is 6, so x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, x6, right? So I will say that to minimize the distance mod of x minus x1 plus mod of x minus x6, it is greater than or equal to mod of x1 minus x6 and x must lie between x1 to x6, right? And similarly, I will do for x2 and x5. So the mod of x minus x2 plus mod of x minus x5 should be greater than or equal to mod of x2 minus x5 and x should lie between x2 and x5, right? And at the end, I have to find the minimum distance between these two. So then I will say mod of x minus x3 plus mod of x minus x4 will be greater than or equal to mod of x3 minus x4, right? And this time I will say that x should lie between x3 and x4, right? So finally, this is the smallest interval. And we know that if x lies between here, somewhere here, right? If x lies somewhere here, then I will minimize this also. I will minimize this also. And I will minimize this also, right? So basically the answer for this question would be the minimum value of this would be, I will just write, mod of, I will write mod of x1 minus xn plus mod of x2 minus xn minus 1 plus mod of x3 minus xn minus 2 and so on till the last pair, right? It could be mod of x, here it was x3, so you should say n by 2 minus x of n by 2 plus 1. And n was even, so this is making sense. And this happens when x lies in the interval x of n by 2 to x of n by 2 plus 1. Is that clear? 
I hope it is clear because we are just taking distances and we are putting x in a certain range where it is minimizing pairs of moduluses, right? So that is the case when n was even. What happens when n is odd, right? So let's take the simple case of five points. Let's say x1, x2, x3, x4, and x5, right? And I want to minimize the sum of distances of x from each of these five points. I start the process in a similar manner. I take x1 and x5 and I say mod of x minus x1 plus mod of x minus x5 will be greater than or equal to mod of x1 minus x5 when x lies between x1 and x5, right? Okay, great. So x should lie between these two. Now I take the next pair and I'll say mod of x minus x2 plus mod of x minus x4 should be greater than or equal to x2 minus x4 when x lies when x lies between x2 and x4 belongs to x2 and x4 right and finally i don't have two points at the end i have only x3 right so we can say now since i don't have two points i can say my two points are x3 and and x3 itself right Ultimately, I have to minimize mod of x minus x3. How do I minimize mod of x minus x3? It can be greater than 0 if x is at x3, right? Correct. You can put the final x at x3 only. That will minimize this because that will make the distance of x from x3 0, right? So in case when you have an odd situation, what we do is the middle point. There will be a unique middle point if the number of numbers is odd, right? And then your x should be equal to the middle point. So you can say it is x is equal to n by n plus one by two, x of n plus one by two, right? And then the minimum value of the overall expression will become x1 minus x5 plus x2 minus x4 and so on. And plus zero actually, right? So in the general case, you will have x1 minus xn plus x2 minus x of n minus 1 and so on till mod of x of n minus 1 by 2 minus x of n plus 3 by 2, right? Plus 0 because this happens when x is equal to x of n plus 1 by 2. Think about it, you will be able to understand when the number of numbers was even, you could group them into pairs and take x in smaller and smaller intervals between those two numbers. And the modulus would be just the distance between those two points. But when the number of numbers is odd, then you can do the same process. But at the end, you get x should be at the middle point of that number of numbers, right? So in this case, we get minima at a unique point. And in the first case, when there are even number of numbers, you will get minima in an interval. And the interval will be the interval between the nearest or the middle interval, the smallest interval in the middle. That is where the minimum of the overall expression can be found. You can obviously check this with some examples. Like suppose you have this expression. Suppose you have this expression, right? If I have to minimize this, right? I will say this is number of numbers is off even. So I should say x should belong to 2 to 3. And the minimum will be mod of the distance between this and this mod of 1 minus 4 plus mod of 2 minus 3. And this is going to give me 3 plus 1, 4. So whenever x lies between 2 to 3, this value will be minimum. And the minimum value will be 4. Right? You can check this yourself by opening the brackets and doing it by the standard calculus method. And if I had s is equal to x minus 1 plus x minus 2 plus x minus 3 plus x minus 4 plus x minus 5, right? Suppose this was the situation. This number of numbers is odd. So what we did we see here? Here we should take it at the middle point. So minimum happens when x is equal to 3. Equal to 3. And the value of this will be simply mod of 3 minus 1 plus mod of 3 minus 2 plus mod of 3 minus 4 plus mod of 3 minus 5 
or you can even do it like this mod of 1 minus 5 plus mod of 2 minus 4 that should be the answer so that will be 4 plus 2 so that will be 6 in this case the minimum will be 6 and it will happen when x is equal to 3 you can check here the answer will come 6 2 1 1 2 right so i hope you have understood the problem do not try to do calculus in this situation you should use the logic that if you place x inside the interval of the two points then the distance will be minimum and the distance will be the distance between the two endpoints right hope you understood the solution if you like the video uh, please share and subscribe to the channel and i'll continue providing more content for you guys see you in the next video